Hello and welcome back to, uh, well, it's not going to be Stonehouse much longer. Uh, friendly reminder, we are partnered with Shard Tabletop, our virtual tabletop of choice, which you can see us using right now. And uh, we have a old friend back. Our person who was playing Iluvinar is back as a new character. And Lawnton, who was Ron Swan, has retired and brought out how are you pronouncing that? Yon Swan? Yom Swan, yeah. Yom Swan, okay. It's not Tom Swan? No, it's Yom it is Yom. Swan. Yom. Oh, you changed it. Oh. it Alright, so the party last left off back in World's End, resting up after a harrowing dive into the dungeon. Uh, the person who was Lawton is now Yom Swan. Can you give a bit of information of where Lawton has gone off to? Uh, yes, he noticed me coming into town, and since I am Ron Swan's sister, he thought it best to leave it to me to take his space. And he decided to go and find combat in another place and be jolly about it. Alrighty. So the party is sitting there at the inn when a quite dashing elven lady comes into the bar. I'm setting the scene for you guys to pick up. (laughs) Who are you? I don't know who you're talking to. (laughs) I'm talking to the everyone who's sitting at the bar, which includes Brazella, oh. Tarmoa, who, oh, I should mention Tarmoa will be a bit late to the session. Charlie and Zovar. I nudged Charlie. Hey, it's a big, big for you, but it looks good. What do you think? You could probably, it's been a while, I'm sure, in the fucking dungeon where we've been in. Talk to the muted I'll guy. I'll call, I'll talk to her for you. <laughs> hey, lady. Yes? You seem Who are you? Oddly familiar to me. I've got a better look at you. Come here. Oh, you're a dragonborn. Oh, mm-hmm. you must have quite a bit of power in you, indeed. <laughs> oh my God, she's flirting already. Yes, we were just uh, thinking about the past and how much we've been through lately. We're just I'm here taking a break and talking about our. Former colleagues, and well, sadly, they've departed us. And uh, having a few of these pints, and you walk in. So, there's no one else around. Is there anyone else in here besides us? Is there other people? Or there's a anybody? few other patrons, but they're like townsfolk. Hmm. It's like midday. Most people are out at uh, their stalls or on their farms oh. or whatnot at this point. You don't look like the other people in here. So, you look interesting. Well, seems you have good taste. You say you have been adventuring around here and lost a few comrades. Hmm. By chance, would one of those comrades have been an elf? Hmm. Why, yeah. Lost a couple of elves. Yeah, a couple. Well, you see, I've had uh, a brother of mine. His name, uh, similar to mine, Ron Swan. He was... Quite the troublemaker. Always like to take things. But uh, I haven't heard anything from quite some time, and had I had a strange feeling, so I decided to come this way. Have you seen him? Uh, yeah, he was a fellow companion of ours who sadly was. Um... He wasn't he the one got squished by an ogre? Or did he get eaten by a dragon? I can't remember. Ripped apart by a banshee. He got. Uh... <laughs> that, yes, he was eaten by uh, Night Scream, the oh, Black Dragon. The dragon, yeah. Oh, by a dragon. Well, I mean, he probably would have wanted to go that way. Did he at least get anything valuable before he died? Yes, but well, likely my coin purse. Droid in the belly of the dragon and his <sighs> breathing acid at us, so, yeah, it's all for naught. Well. He did what he loved to do, and that was steal things. So 
As long as he died with a few possessions he loved, I think he was okay. Oh my god, we still have to worry about that dragon. I think he died with that. a few of our possessions that we love too, to be honest. Uh-uh. Well, if we do happen to find his body or anything, I would love to take a memento. But if it Are ends up being like that he is too, am I anything, anything like, like, like him? Brother? Well, do you take things without asking? I, yes. I, I don't normally take no. things without asking unless it involves knowledge that I don't already have. Otherwise, if it is of a material object, I, I don't have too much for it. So, unless it really Good. has value to me. So, uh, okay. Well, what brings you here besides looking for him? Anything else? Uh, are you uh, looking for companions or? You well, actually, I would... on your friend of ours if you if you're his sibling. So, I do have one companion, but I, I, I'm always looking for more. I mean, of course, I can't have this companion around right now. They might cause a bit of a stir. Hmm. Intriguing. All right, now that Tarmo is here, just to catch Tarmo up for a moment. Hey. Uh, welcome. Hey. hey. So, the party is at the tavern in World's End at the moment. Lawton has gone off, and a new face has appeared, a uh, young, young-ish, I think young, for elf years, uh, Elven Lady has joined in, and they're currently talking at the tavern. Uh, she has cool. introduced herself as Ron Swan's sister. Continue. Sorry about that. It's all right. It's all good. Hmm. Well, maybe uh, enjoy a beverage and a meal of us, and we can talk more and. See what the night holds for us. Sounds promising. What is I, uh, good to eat here? I haven't really been here. I'm uh, new to this town. Tea? I have no idea. The ale's all right. Yep. You can ale hear, is good. You can hear the uh, bartender laughing at uh, the mention of tea. Hey, don't I, be rude. I laugh and then I, I say, Hale, Hale will do just fine. There you go. Hey, uh, beckon another round. Let's go. They promptly serve you another round of ale. This time with a cup extra. As the drinking continues, I'm starting to get a little looser and Oh, you know it is really nice to have companions. Looser, eh? I haven't I haven't had anyone to travel with besides besides my little Charcy. So it'll be nice to nice to have someone to introduce him to. Charcy. I feel like selling stuff already. Hmm. I'm well, sorry, selling stuff? What? Charcy reference. It's short for Charcinder. But I find Charcy a much cuter name. Where is this Charcy friend of yours? Oh, in another dimension for now. I'll call about her when, when I need. So then, once, so you, once we're out of town. You sound lonely. And well, here we go. Not anymore. I have you companions. You have many of us. Uh, so the conversation the only... continues as the night or the day gets a bit longer. Uh, I'm going to assume that the party is mentioning the previous heroics with Ron, reminiscing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Tell him about his his heroic feats, despite him being a fucking cold hearted thief and backstabber. <laughs> and I regale mm. everyone with stories of tech. Spent a lot of time. Watching his blades go through the front of people. And how the they used to have wonderful pillows all the time. Yeah. He kept everyone oh. in pillows. Oh, yeah, he was like the magician that like swallows the egg and goes and spits out the feathers. Wow. Special. So it's getting now to late afternoon. It's probably around uh, two or three. The bar has gotten especially quiet now that the lunch rush is over. So, 
When do you guys want to head back? Yeah, I was just going to say, I should like to see this dungeon you've been exploring and telling me tales of. Maybe run into this night scream and show him a thing or two. Oh, he could be out there looking for us still. He's already fucking ambushed us once or twice. Oh, joyous. Yeah, well, a couple of people decided that it was smart to dive into his horde and start taunting him. <laughs> Naturally. Yes, because, you know. I bet Ron Swan had something to do with that if he saw any gold. The taunting? Oh, the taunting, yes. Well, it's always nighttime when we go there, so it doesn't matter if we leave now or tomorrow. Going drunk's as good as going sober, as far as I'm concerned. Going drunk is better than going sober. Agreed. Mm, I think it's very wise for us to go yeah, back sure. to drunk with a dragon. Yeah, let's go, let's go hammered. Back. I'd rather live than be disintegrated in its belly. Like our old friend Juan Swan was. Yeah, spending all the dragon's money, now that's fun. I'll mm. speak in draconian to Rosetta. Well said. Mm. I can give you a smirk. <sighs> we can speak freely. So are we going in the morning then? Is that the plan? Let's get drunk and go in the morning. That sounds better. The so continued sp- libations. Yeah, you spend the night drinking away comes to about uh, 8 in the morning when the sun finally breaches through the curtains in your rooms and hits you in the eye and wakes you up some of you have uh, more of a hangover than others you guys reconvene down at the tavern again for a good breakfast there's hot porridge and honey and whatnot. As we're going to be heading out, would it be possible to take a moment to browse the shop to see if I can find a cloak? And that would be about it. Most certainly. Give me a D100. You do not find Uh, anything but travel cloaks. Okay. It's been slim pickings around here lately. So. Yeah. party starts getting on the road it's a bright sunny day can i have a d20 from someone oh why don't we let our uh, newest uh, companion roll that start us off right the first half of the day or the first half of the travel to stone hill goes by without a hitch during the second half it starts raining horribly. Dark we should have just cast. stayed in the inn. <laughs> the weather gets extremely overcast. Is this normal for this area? Actually, I think it's just the first time that we've ever seen rain. We're not outside too much, though. Can I have somebody... Roll me a d4. You did a d4. One. Alrighty. Fix my monitor. You see mist start swirling in through the rain. Almost a heavy fog. And you can feel the ground beneath you become softer. Not like it's on a road. I put my hand down and feel it. What does it feel like? It feels more muddy than what it was. Like a loam or? No, like uh, you went off the road slightly and more into forested area. Hmm. You also notice that the area around you it has become really dense with fog. Mm. 
This is very unusual hey. for this time of year in this area. Now we're going to get lost on the way. Sounds like it. All I see is darkness. All you do see is yep. darkness. Fog is enveloping you. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see. I live in horror. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Who brought the bard? <laughs> Send him back. I multiclassed while you were away. <laughs> I took lessons. <laughs> I took lessons. It's not only the what? Fog guys, we always have downtime where we just sort of fill gaps. Well, the fog suddenly. Lifts. I learned how to dance and sing. And you're not on the road anymore. You're in a dense forest. The air has also gotten much colder. You mm. you can tell it's like a good. 10 degree drop in temperature instead of being a nice summer day is it feels like you're in the middle of fall who brought the druid roll me perception who everyone yep okay just give me a second here I'm just longer perception not not sure it's strong suit uh, 20 for me. Just waiting on Brazetas. Uh, super good. All right. <laughs> Yom <laughs> and Tarmoa. <Zero. laughs> you post notice that the, these trees around here, you've traveled, well, Tarmoa's traveled a bit. Yom has traveled enough getting to the town that you both notice that the trees in this area are not native to uh, this area that you were currently in. Seems we are in a different location. Also, both yeah. Noah and Yom notice the sounds of what's the proper word for this? The sounds of Yelling in the distance. Like uh, distress yelling or angry yelling? More like on the angry distress, mob yelling or distressed side of things. Ah, someone calling for help. Someone in uh, a pitched battle. Oh. Well, I'm going to head in that direction. Which way is that? to what would be on this map your east i start going east i let everyone know that we're Pretty hearing strong. these sounds coming from that direction and point towards our I quickly follow our small friend and as we do that i'm going to summon my familiar uh -oh. now we have conflict <laughs> all right yes i was I I i'm that. going to summon a rapier everybody roll initiative Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's fast. Oh, my oh, days are hot tonight. Oh. <laughs> We've had some pretty hot dice nights. Mm. You see immediately. Uh, describe yourself there, Kron. Oh, you, you didn't catch the notes that I sent you? I would rather you describe yourself. Oh, I did not. I just... Okay. <laughs> oh, he's a mime. Let me, let me, uh... <laughs> well, that kind of changed. It. Yeah, I did not see those messages. No verbal. Disregard. <laughs> you, can still, you can still be up in a tree, <laughs> and you can still have that spell cast on you. It sure. Might, might oh, you want me to roll an initiative then? Okay. Yes. Because what the party sees is instead several very large wolves 
Because unfortunately, your smell does not matter for that spell. <laughs> right. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> yes. uh, they're all clawing at a tree. And you can. God, shouldn't we just pretend like we didn't see it and go the other way? Wolves are really. I'm little. Oh, tough enough. So the, the, be, the sounds that you heard the were these uh, oversized wolves making noise. Hmm. They seem fixated on something in a tree which you cannot see. Hmm. Well, I see possible meat for our next meal. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. I've traveled far, but I don't think I've seen wolves like those before. They are absolutely massive. Hmm. Yum, you were first up in initiative. Right, so I can see them. Show okay. the party what you can do. Right. Oh, shut up. Well, start. Just over here, yeah, I can see that. We're gonna launch a nice little shocking volley. Create a stone token right there. And so, all of them need to make a dex 15 saving throw uh, 10, 11, 13. Okay. Dex, you say. Ten, nope. Eleven, nope. And thirteen, nope. Awesome. So they will all take eleven lightning damage and be incapacitated <laughs> till until the end of its next turn. Nice. What spell is that? Shocking volley, neat. Shocking volley, yeah. Good old conjuration spell, folks. <laughs> Sir, way to go, yummy. Else you'd like to do? Um, I would like to no cast that on. No. Um, I will. That's all I can do. Yeah. That's like that's all I can do for now until it's, I guess it's now my Drake's my uh, Drake's turn. Yes, you read how the familiars work, right? Yes, I can basically work as if it's a same thing, like a character. It's got one action reaction. And I've already got its stats and everything, so it's going to fly up and it's going to attack number ten. Or up. So, first attack is a bite. Actually, you know what? I might as well go balls out on this and just show you what he can do. He now, does I'll have advantage, I believe, advantage. right? He does have advantage, so we're just going to stick with this then. We're gonna, so, we're going to attack number 10 for the bite first. 18. big. 10 force damage and 7 fire damage. This thing gets nice. incinerated. And then he only moved to double check it. There he is. We've got another bit. So he's going to come over here and attack number 11. He's going to use his stinger attack. Oh, hello. Um, I'm liking this little guy already. Yeah. The tandem's making quite the intro introduction. Uh, I need you. And... Uh, Kron, one second. Hold on. Kron, if you would like to just say that after the damage. I'm going to let need you to make... do that. Because uh, I don't want them to know. Okay. Uh, uh, it has to do a DC 15 con save. Yep. I don't know if we'll make that. Nice. And then it will take... 
Uh, three poison damage, and it's poisoned for an hour. Jesus Christ. Hour? Um, an hour. Wow. That's fucking... Holy deep. shit! Oh, oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, wait, What? he didn't fail by five or more. I lied. He's, he's just poisoned for the turn. If, oh. he, if, he, if he fails by five or more, he's poisoned for an hour. I apologize. No worries. Damn. This other one notices what that thing's doing and jumps over onto it. Onto your uh, familiar. Biting. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. Okay, he's going to bite him. I uh, go for that. Does an 11 hit? No. AC 17. Tries to bite again. 16 miss. Miss. 17? Yeah, AC 17. Alrighty. Yeah, the familiar thing that increases AC and stuff. It's really cool. So far. Um, and just to clarify, sorry, I read it again. And he is actually poisoned for an hour. If he takes uh, less than five, then he gets like extra poison damage for the next three rounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep. Um. That's your bonus action, right? To do that? Yeah. Okay. To move him around and stuff, I believe so. I am going to cast Toll the Dead at number 13. Wisdom 15 save. Uh, on number 15, you say, or sorry, which one? Sorry. 13. 13. Wisdom, no, it's probably... Oh, okay. <laughs> Get I think those he's all right. 20s out. <laughs> um... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do anything else. I think my comrades can take care of this, so I'll step back. You think very highly of us. I do. Number five jumps out over at uh, Tarmoa there, biting at Tarmoa. Nope. Tarmoa definitely dodges out of the way on that one. A second bite. That uh, hits. It sink in its teeth into you, dealing ten. Ow. And can you make me a strength save? Uh, seven. <laughs> it has knocked you prone and is grappling you. Oh, lovely. Shaking its head back and forth, froth spewing out of its mouth. Tarmoa. It's knocked me prone and I'm grappled. Mm -hmm. So I have to make a strength check. It would be an action to free yourself from it, yes. Okay, I want to make an action to free myself. Mm -hmm. It's against this 13, so. Alrighty. And strength check. Uh, saving uh, throw. It'd be saving throw. Yep. Now, where right. were you the last time? <laughs> wow. You pry its <laughs> jaws off of you and wiggle your way out. Oh, god nice. damn it. All right, now do I have any bonus actions? <laughs> Don't think I do. You were step of the wind and whatnot. Wait, you're a halfling, right? And you rolled a one? Oh, I am a halfling and I did roll a one. <laughs> it's been dramatic. How did you forget that? <laughs> wow. God yeah, no take backs now. <laughs> no take backs. Yeah, you're right. You already got out. <laughs> you did yep. what you needed to. <laughs> I am going to spend a chi point and do uh, patient defense, so dodge action. And end my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Charlie. Alright, uh... Bonus action, I will cast Horfrost, Marik here, and I will step up here and stabby number five. I'll kill him for you. Or not, maybe. If I can find all my stuff. There it is. That is a hit. Nice. Oof. That's eight 
plus 17 force damage. 17. He takes it. And let's see, that was 20 feet. Not really I your, will. Uh, Horfrost? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgot. Yeah, make that. sure you roll that. Four. Okie dokie. Then I will use part of my movement. I'll. I'm going to. What is it? I can teleport 12 feet. I'm going to teleport 12 feet back. And then move five feet. Dad. And that's the end of my turn. Yes, darling. Number eight. You hear a very high pitched whistle sound come from the north. The north? Yep. And this thing just starts taking off. Like someone's calling it. Mm. Yep. Great. Zovara, you hear inside your head, are you friend or foe? Reach out. It seems to speak in your mind. Well, that's a hard question to answer without knowing who's asking it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're... I would say friend, since you're asking. Logically. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Unless you're one of the wolves. <laughs> or likely not. <laughs> All right. Number nine was stunned. Wolf, that was good. Brazetta. Well. One in front of me, trying to eat my friend, so I'm going to fucking smash its skull open with my flaming hammer. <coughs> uh, guessing that hit. That would be yes. So 10 and 4, 14. Smashed it good. Skull indents. Go get him, guys! Is there anyone down there? I can't tell. There's a small dragon thing down there. Uh, go down here. In the middle of the pile. Yeah. What color is it? Red. The red red drake. drake. Forget it. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm going to stop right here and attack number 11. Yep. Uh, you have advantage because it's incapacitated. Number 11 was not. It's the other three. It wasn't? No. Oh, okay. Because I thought I thought number different. I thought it was eleven nine and the dead one because oh, number yes. three came yes. over and attacked. The other one jumped in, yes. Number eleven is incapacitated. You are right. I'm losing track already. Uh, seven and one. Oh, sweet damage. Eight takes it. <clears throat> um, that's all I'm gonna do. That one is not incapacitated anymore. Yom. Well, over here a bit so I can see, and I'm going to launch a firebolt at number nine. Yes. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I lied. I'm going to do a starburst right in the middle of a few of them. Boop. Right there. So uh, it's a charisma fifteen save. Number three. Nope. Huh. Number nine. Good roll. Yes. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Opposites. Uh nine damage for number three. And none for number nine. Alrighty. And then for my bonus action, I'm gonna command my familiar to continue his attack. And uh, get out when it's safe. I'll back a little bit. How long does familiar last for? Until it dies. Lasts continuously, yeah. Until it dies. Un until it dies? 
Yeah. Don't we have a don't does do we have a, a ring of spell story? No. 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 Um so I'm gonna have it oh, attached to different campaign. Number different nine campaign. first. Oh, um and number nine's poison, so I'm still at advantage for the funsies. So we're gonna do the bite attack first. Advantage. Go. Yep. What do you can it do less than damage. damage? Poison doesn't give you advantage. If oh no, it's just disadvantage on theirs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So would yep. yeah, I missed that one. Okay, and then uh, stinger attack. Also miss. Let's go. Also miss. Okay, let's it's there. Bonus action right now. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to move him so he's a little more visible to me. All right. Number three there disengages. Search running. Do I get to attack him? No, nope, he's disengaged. Oh, yeah, that's right. Duh. <laughs> Zavara. There and hmm. going to cast Guiding Bolt at level three. Uh, Which yeah. target? Seriously. Three, the one running okay. away. Okay. That is a miss. Oh my god. I don't think I've hit oh yeah, I did once. Um bonus action, nothing. I will oh, wow. just move a little bit up further behind it. Uh, uh twenty three. Well, it looks like 9 and 11, people have those handled. I'm going to go after number 3. Go get him! And I'm going to lay a beat down. Move your feet down. Uh, a little bit of both. Bones. Uh, 20. Mm -hmm. Four points of bludgeoning. 23. 9. Bend a chi point. Uh, nine will miss. Twenty-two mm -hmm. for another six. You get Way right to go, ass as it's running away. Awesome. Swift kick. Swift kick. And in the anus. So that was twenty-four feet. So I can move another sixteen. I'll move another sixteen down this way. Charlie. Uh, I'll just take a shot with a. I'll firebolt number nine. Yep. If I can find it. There it is. Missing. Oh, I'm good right there. A lot of us have rolled 12. Like, literally 12. I'd love to roll 12. Oh, not as an end result. Yeah, end result is what I meant. Not, yeah, I guess it's not a natural. Uh, the warg that you don't see is even further away now. And yes. Is it my turn? Yes, Grand. You are up. Okay. Um, I will cast Firebolt at number 11, and I will uh, twin that. Okay. So I guess that's what? That's two, right? Yep. You can toss one at number nine. 
can't be at the same target. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a separate target. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Nine, uh, yeah, 11 first, though, and then 9 will be my second. Yeah, you are the sorcerer, you're the sorcerer expert, aren't you, Robbie? <laughs> I love them. They're so much fun. That's an advantage, though, right? Yep. I hit anyway. But... Yeah, okay. So, oof. Four. Well, number nine. That's and then, kill it. <laughs> and then, okay. And then 11. Uh, 18. Mm -hmm. Nine. I also killed it. You see two streaks yes. of fire come out of the tree and hit nice. the two very large wolves. Mm. Felling both of them. Nice. Would you like to do anything else? Negative. The initiative is over. One got away. I blame myself for that one. Well, you should. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's good yeah. to take responsibility. Did you see where the firebolt came from? Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Good. Yeah, where did it? Who's in the tree? I was over behind this tree. That wasn't me. I'll, uh, <laughs> so, Aaron, I'm going to my senses. Yes, sorry. I'm going to recast a uh, message at the same target and say, You seem like a friend. I will speak only to you right now. Your colleagues appear powerful. <laughs> That is being spoken to Zovar. Yeah, I sure. Um, yeah, they uh, they keep me alive. Um, was that you that shot the fire bolts? Yeah. Why don't you come down where we can see you? This is kind of weird for me. Why don't you come a little closer between yourself and your friends, and I will make myself. Visible. I spin in a circle looking at all my friends and just guess maybe Brazetta and I go that way. <laughs> <laughs> you hear, uh, I start um, shaking a branch in the tree. You see a, a tree branch start moving vigorously. Hey, uh, look over. So look up it. at it. Share my senses with my familiar and send my dragon up to the tree to look at it. There's someone who's a friend up there, I say out loud to everyone. Don't shoot it. Hmm. It's. I believe that was who was shooting the fire bolts. Come down, whoever you are. Um, my you dragon are, I know you are not telepathically unfriendly. as well. So I'm going to use my dragon to telepathically speak to you. Cause, can I see you with my dragon up there? No. Nope. Are you like, no? Oh, well, then I can't be telepathically with something I can't see. Why do we all stand around this tree? <laughs> it has one green branch. Look, there's someone in it. Charcy's I... checking it out, but she doesn't see anything. A, a stick man? Very well. I uh, I make my way down the six feet or whatever it is i am six feet so i just plop down i'm remaining invisible though mm -hmm. for the next couple seconds i am on the ground um where drow are you? drow elf are you really i i hear you are you really 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 tiny because i don't see you are you i i end my I end my spell there See a very large figure there. He's um. So yeah, he's uh. He's not too big because he's he's a he, he's trolkin. But anyway, he's um he's a, just over six feet tall. He's very very like muscular, but he's wearing uh, like a uh, a dark browny black uh, sleeveless cloak vest. And he's got um, long uh, black hair that goes down to shoulder length. 
and uh, he's got gray skin, and his eyes appear to be as black as his hair. He, I, I just kind of scan. He's rather youthful looking. He looks somewhat human, but obviously somewhat troll-like as well. And um, I just kind of scan over all of you, but I, I keep my eyes more on Zovara and say, you fought well, thank you. I was in uh, a little bit of a, a situation there. And I have been so for, geez, looks like days on end. Uh, are you from these parts? No, no, no. I am from a from a land I, I I think far far from here. I have never heard of or seen such a place as this. And you yeah, are you I, from here? I I'm beginning to think maybe not. This isn't doesn't look like where we were a short time ago. Uh, your story sounds like mine. I and my colleagues, who are now all dead, um, traveled through a rainstorm and heavily misted valley and turned out turned up here. That's what we had happen as I walk through. And you, you said you're a trollkin, right? Yeah. That's something I haven't seen before, so you're very curious to me. Well, hello um, there. What what is what is your name? Oh, wow. big you're, you're strong. My name is big. Cord. My name is Krond. Krond. I am uh, oh. I am not from these lands, clearly, as are you not either. I am from a land called Midgard. I I am unaware of where I am. Are you from Midgard as well? We're not, are we? Uh, no, you know, that, we're is, that is not no. where we're from. That is, no. that, that is an unfamiliar land. I wonder what kind of creatures are there. Wow. That's mm. that's amazing. This seems to be... Trickery. Some seems sort of seems land wrong. of... So you went mist. through some heavy rain and mist, and then the ground beneath you shifted? Is that something you noticed? These words are true. The, 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 these are my experiences. We were beset by ravenous undead 